If you've ever felt like you knew more than your boss, this one's for you. Because back in the late 40s, the US and its peers were all hard at work fielding the world's first radar-guided air-to-air weapons. But these radar systems were very complex and expensive. And one Navy scientist who worked on lead sulfide fuses said, why don't we make an infrared-guided weapon instead? And the Navy said, dude, you don't even know what you're talking about. Just do what we pay you to do. So McLean kept working on his crazy idea on the side, much to the Navy's chagrin. And just about five or six years later, he unveiled his unusual new prototype, a missile he called the Sidewinder. Now, the Sidewinder missile would go on to become the world's first infrared-guided or heat-seeking missile, and it would be the basis for all infrared-guided missiles operated by the West and the East, though that's a story for another video. And it all came thanks to one scientist, William McLean, just ignoring his bosses when they told him no.